Havasu National Wildlife Refuge, it's a special place. I mean, it sits right off the, the Colorado River, and the Colorado River is the lifeblood of, of a lot of different states. You walk out on a refuge and be out with wildlife on a daily basis, can't ask for much more. Possible we may have taken the last pig here, but we're not gonna quit just thinking that we took the last pig. We're gonna implement additional trail cameras. We're gonna throw the drone at it. We're gonna bring back our aerial mission as well, helicopters and fixed wing aircraft. Our goal is to make sure they're gone. And to do that, we gotta ensure, even after the last pig is taken, that we don't have any sign of feral swine for one to two years. Then we can say we have a full success story. And we are darn close. Wildlife Services believes that this population of feral swine that's on Havasu National Wildlife Refuge is our oldest population within the state and it's the first population we hope to eradicate within the state of Arizona. They're omnivores, they eat the native wildlife, there's multiple endangered species here, birds, snakes and other species, and if we can remove the feral swine, those animals will survive. Maybe we have hopes down the road to remove them from the endangered species list. I've kind of been the boots on the ground, out hiking around scouting, essentially setting traps and cameras and hunting in certain areas where I think pigs are present. Crossing off areas as being void of feral pig sign. Considering there hasn't been any sort of a public hunting season here, there's been no incentive to translocate feral pigs to this refuge. It's very hard to find pig sign now. We've been running around with the dogs for about a week and a half and we've yet to see any fresh sign. With each step along the way, we've added more and more tools because we know it's gonna get harder. The last pigs are gonna be the hardest ones to get out of here. Because of Havasu and the proximity to the river, um, a lot of the access points to a lot of these islands and the cattail marshes that where feral swine are located, they're inaccessible by land. So we're really using a boat to get out there and get access to these locations. Having a drone to help eradicate the feral swine on, on this refuge is gonna be fantastic. And we realize that the drone has the ability to become an eye in the sky for us. And and we equipped that with a thermal camera, we now have the ability to go out at night and look for feral swine when they're on the landscape. Um, a lot of times feral swine are not moving around during the middle of the day, but you'll see them more active at night by putting a, a thermal camera on a drone. We're able to get that camera up in the air and we can cover a large area in a short amount of time. Once we identify the feral swine you know, on the ground, we record the GPS location of that that feral swine and we'll relay those coordinates either to the helicopter pilot or we'll relay them to the ground crew whether it's going to be a sharpshooter crew or it's going to be the hog dog crew. My name is Eddie Davis. I'm a wildlife biologist out of Texas. Last year I took 1,400 feral swine and uh, this year I've taken 500 and we're just in February now. We usually start with the helicopter and take you know as many as we can off the population. And of course, the guys on the ground are trapping and snaring during the daytime. Then the dogs are usually like the last tool that's left over in the swine eradication program just to get the last smart ones, the last individual is too smart for any other method. The last remaining few of feral swine are going to be hard to find. And I can't find them without having some aerial eyes. As we've been working out here using the drone, um, we realized that we're not seeing that many feral swine or any feral swine. And to me, that is a huge success. Um, the fact that we're now using these great tools for finding you know, feral swine out in this type of vegetation, but to not see them, that has shown that all of our control efforts up to this point have been working. Time will tell, that's, that's what it takes. Over the next couple of years, we will continue to monitor feral swine. And if we've eradicated all the feral swine and we don't see any more feral swine on this landscape, you know, that means we have won. We have finally defeated them in this little environment.